Do quokkas throw their babies at predators to defend themselves? No. It's all lies. Alan, how do you know this? I can't, I literally can't believe I have to make a video about this. And look how tiny these hands are. They're so small, they literally can barely hold a leaf. So for her to throw her baby, she has no arm strength, no power. So before I get into this whole proof and solution of how they do not throw their babies at predators, let me just give you a backstory. Basically, there's all these like little memes and photos now circulating the web, people sharing them, saying that, oh, think you're a bad mother? Well, quokkas throw their babies at predators to defend themselves. And the origin to all of these memes goes back to June 2018, when Sad Animal Facts released a post, a cartoon, a mother quokka will throw her baby at a predator to defend herself. Oh, look at that little smile throwing that baby. God didn't want us to throw babies. He wouldn't have made them so tossable. SadAnimalFacts.com Now look at those arms. Look how weak they are. They literally couldn't throw a piece of grass. So I DM'd Sad Animal Facts to really find out the truth about this. And this is where we go down a rabbit hole, folks. We need the truth. Your fact about quokkas throwing their babies has gone viral and become believable. Can you please tell us the source of where you found this fact? Referring to your post from 2018. Then the link, thanks. And the response? Stick around, I'll get to it after I tell you the facts and the proof of why this is so unconceivably stupid. Now Mr. Quokka over here has no predators on Rottnest Island. There are some quokkas found in Western Australia, just a small little area. Yes, they do have foxes and cats as their predators, but there are no photos or videos of this incident or technique. Nothing exists visually. No one's ever even seen it. Quokkas come from the marsupial family, kangaroos and wallabies. And you know what kangaroos and wallabies do? They don't throw their babies. They have little pouches and they keep their little joeys in the pouches. And then if they're scared, they just jump away like normal. So, hmm, isn't it a coincidence that all the animals from the same family don't throw their babies? They love each other, the mother gives it milk, they kind of go off grazing together. The baby literally sticks side by side the mother for a good few years, I'd say, because it's just so much love and smiles. And then we waited patiently for a day. Hey, Alan, for sure, this is the study. I'm referencing the link. The baby ejection is on page 720. But don't worry, it's not that long. The PDF starts at the 700, like. So let's go down and check this PDF. Okay, 700 pages of fun. Now, this is where it gets interesting. When a female quokka becomes aware of a life-threatening interaction with a predator, she may expel her offspring whose subsequent noise attracts the attention of the approaching predator. It seems likely that the predator would take the young in such circumstances. The pouch, but what? Pouch young expelled in. Comparable behavior has been observed with other marsupials, gray kangaroos, pouch expelled chases foxes, swamp wallabies. Young swamp wallabies in the diet of dingoes? Oh. Okay, but this is like 1997, 1986, 1985. This PDF has thrown a spanner in the works, folks. So if we go back, it was actually Sad Animal Facts who added the word throw. Throw doesn't exist in this study. So technically, baby quokkas aren't thrown by the parents. They might just like gently expel them. But this happens so rarely. No one's ever heard of this with kangaroos and wallabies, but the only studies seem to be referencing from 1986 and 1997. So of course these marsupials do expel, they don't throw. Hey, I just need to lose some weight out of this pouch. You're kind of a decoy. Sucks. Peace out. So I replied to San Animal Facts. WTF, maybe it's true. It seems to be a very rare occurrence. But the one thing that you added was the word throw, which took the whole meme out of proportion. I think people thought the quokkas physically throw the babies at the predators. Quokka emoji, sad face here. Ah, oh no, in hindsight, shoot seems better. Well, let me know if there's something I can do to help. Well, yeah, this is going in a video. Anything you'd like to add for everyone watching? And, no reply. 
for someone who started this whole viral problem and meme. Give us answers, sad animal facts, please. <laughs> But hold on a second there, Daxon. I saw your Quokka t-shirt and I was like, oh, that's a damn nice Quokka t-shirt. So a word from our sponsors at Quokkas.co, you should probably definitely, most likely, definitely get a Quokka t-shirt or a pillow or a Quokka phone case or a Quokka hoodie. Everything you want, Quokka world. Basically the most awesome Quokka merch that ever exists on the internet or in your life right now. Go get it, yes. So Sad Animal Facts added the word throw and then that took it completely out of proportion. And she didn't even mean it. So now people literally do think that quokka babies are physically thrown at predators. In this case, to set the record straight, they are just kind of let go out of the pouch. Their tiny little arms couldn't even grab their babies to begin with. Like, all they do is kind of like hug, caress each other. We need to rename this meme to quokka babies expel or push. Shoot? No. Quokkas expel their baby as decoys for predators to defend themselves. Maybe. So if you learned something horrible from this video, then hit that like button, even though you don't want to. But instead, to celebrate that like, I will refer you to another beautiful video. And we will celebrate the baby joeys, those immaculate heart-exploding animals. They're so cute. The video is there, so you can click that. So your heart can just explode with cuteness. Hit the subscribe button as well because then you can watch more Quokka videos and they'll be in your newsfeed and you'll have you'll be Quokka crazy.